Hey everyone, I'm Miss Adams back today with our uh, continuing with our clay unit here. And this is how I kind of wrapped things up the other day. So now we're gonna see what this looks like um, as we begin to work on the second day that we come back. Uh, first of all, I'm gonna put some of my clay aside. I wanna clean my board off because this is my working surface. So I need a clean working surface and I'm gonna have another area that I'm just gonna kind of put everything aside on. I'm gonna go this way. Um, so that's over there and this is my project and you'll see that I put a grocery bag over this and this was two days ago that I did this demonstration so let's see what's under here I should be moving these out and let's take these doilies let's move everything else so make some space wherever you make a studio for yourself and your house make some space these are all my tools I'm going to need these here for the day and let's just see what kind of goodness this is today and you will see it's good that this is still movable i can still move this clay i can still uh, form it but you'll notice that it's not as floppy as it was when i first started working on this because it did even though it had plastic over it it just kind of dried out a little bit so today this is called leather hard and today when clay is leather hard you can form it, I can wrap this over, I can open this up, and then the clay actually stays where you want it to stay. Um, this is also the point at which when it's holding its form, I can hold it, it's not collapsing on itself, when we want to connect everything. So I'm gonna take this off of the bottom here, and we're gonna do a little scoring and slipping later, but I just wanted to show you what some projects look like um, when we, after we put covers on them. So again, this is the plasterboard where I put other projects in process so that they didn't dry out and I could come back and work on them. Here is that slab of the bowl that I made and I made a mistake the other day. I actually stamped into this before I put it in here. Normally what you would do is put it in here first then take this and stamp it in here. So let's see if this is leather hard yet and if it's gonna keep its form. I slowly bring it out of here gently. Everything you do in clay is like, like baby. Very gentle, there it is, look at that. It is holding its, oh, it's still a little wet. So if it's still a little too wet, it is definitely a little too wet. I'm gonna put it back in its form and instead of tying this tightly around it, I am just going to leave it open a little bit to let some air get down in there, okay? And last but not least, my other project that I worked on the other day was this form. And this one, all I did was place a bag over it to let it get air. And we had used the paper towels underneath it to keep these edges up. And look at that. Now it's staying today. This is like, it feels like a bar of chocolate. It's still moist. I can, this is the stage where you want to do carvings, stamping, adding on little designs. I could take